caring for your terrapin. How to differentiate between a male and female terrapin and how to care for your terrapin when they are sick. This question will be addressed in the video. This is a Be Kind to Pets video to bring veterinary medicine and surgery alive for vet students and pet owners. This is a red eared slider terrapin. It is the most commonly found turtle species in Singapore. It can live up to 20 years in captivity. Females usually grow up to 25 to 33 cm, larger than males which can only grow up to 20 to 25 cm. They live in semi-aquatic environments and a dry busking area would be necessary for sunbathing. Here's the question, how to differentiate between a male and a female turtle? A male has longer nails, smaller head and a concave lower shell. A female terrapin has shorter nails, bigger head and a flat lower shell. In addition, the cloacal opening is nearer to the edge of the bottom shell in the female red yet slider. Today's video is about a baby terrapin and his grandma. Both of them fell sick. The next part of the video will be stories about their conditions and how to treat and take care of them when they are sick. The baby terrapin was found to have a white swelling growing on the right cheek. After consultation at the vet, the terrapin was found to have a cheek ulcer. This is a picture of the left cheek of the baby terrapin, which is normal. Solutions for the baby terrapin Apply antifungal and antibacterial cream daily. Change the water twice a day. Feed the foot in a separate area where the water is clean. This is a photo after 9 days of application of antifungal and steroid cream on the right cheek ulcer. This is a photo 12 days after treatment. The next terrapin is an 8 year old terrapin. She has swollen eyes and breathing difficulty. Due to her swollen eyes, she is unable to open her eyes and eat. She is also facing breathing difficulty, possibly due to respiratory problems as she is seen gasping for air as shown in this video. Solutions for the grandma terrapin. The treatment involves injecting vitamins A, D, E into the muscle. Antibiotics and anti-inflammatory injection was also given by the vet. Medicated eye drops are also applied daily onto her swollen eyes. Nursing for the old terrapin. The water must be changed twice a day. A dry basking area for sunbathing is necessary as UV light is required in the production of vitamin D, crucial for shell development. Strange feeding is also necessary in this case, as the terrapin is unable to open her eyes to eat the food pellets in the water. The following images show the application of eye drops and strange feeding. Tips and advices. Ensure that the water is clean by changing it daily or when the water is dirty. Feeding can be done in a separate area where the water is clean. There should be a dry basking area for a terrapin to sunbathe. The terrapin should not be submerged in water all day. Conclusion Examine your terrapin every day to check for any abnormalities. Bring your terrapin to the vet as soon as possible if it is unwell. Read up more on tips about caring for your red-eared sliders in books or on the internet. 